I'm logging into my Upwork account because I messaged my developer about some issues with the Alana platform and I wanna see what he said. Okay, that's really annoying. There's a lot of stuff with how the platform looks that I just don't like. Um, and now I have a meeting for my actual job. The launch didn't go as well as planned. I planned to originally go live in November. I couldn't do it because of X, Y, and Z. Then I pushed it to January, but a whole bunch of personal stuff happened. So I had to try and force myself to do it in the first two weeks of January. I have a meeting I need to join right now. So let me do that really quick. I'll be right back because I can't hear anything. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I guess I just had to put on headphones, I don't know. <laughs> I just finished my meeting, so let's have a little chat. I honestly miss just being able to sit and talk and do long form content because I haven't done it in a while in this type of vibe, you know? Normally I do like really stuffy type of, not stuffy, but. Ooh. So what have I been doing? That's the first question. I made a video on YouTube and it's on this channel where I talked about the job that I was working a few years prior and that's kind of why I stopped posting on YouTube. But also I've just been trying to figure out like what kind of content that I wanna create that's easier for me to show up on this channel. I think sitting and making structured videos is something that I'm very passionate about, but sometimes it can be so hard to like write my scripts, research the topics to make sure I'm giving you guys robust information in the videos. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna be able to continue to show up for you guys because this is the original platform where I got, where I started creating content. So crazy. Grad school to here. So currently I work as a regulatory affairs consultant for my own company. I decided to go independent after everything happened with that last company. I just felt like it made more sense for me and my personality. I tell everybody that I talk to and me and I even talk about this on my TikTok and my Instagram. You really need to understand who you are and what you want. So many people have told me like, oh, why don't you get a full-time job? It makes more sense to be a full-time employee. You can grow and develop and blah, blah, blah. I finally just had to stop listening to everybody else and realize that's not what I want for myself or my life. I don't want to be a VP at someone's company or an SVP at someone's company. I don't want it. I've seen other people do it and I personally just don't want to do it. I want to do my own thing and still contribute to my industry, but in different ways. So with that being said, I decided to go independent and I've been loving it. I have the freedom to travel and make my own schedule. Last night I was working until about like midnight or so, or maybe like 12.30 or one, but that works for me. As long as I get my deliverables done, no one can come and check me. There's no performance reviews. I review myself there's nobody trying to approve my PTO or deny my PTO you can't approve or deny I'm gonna go and I don't have to argue with you about it I get to show up as my full authentic self and it just has made me that much more happy now y'all know me y'all know me I'm never just gonna do one thing so it's not like I've just been consulting <laughs> <laughs> I've been creating more consistently on TikTok and Instagram and I've been able to fully step into becoming a content creator, which I love. I love telling stories and I have a lot of interests. Like I love fashion, I love interior design, I love home decor, I love cooking and hosting. I love talking about relationships and friendships and career, which y'all already know. And I've been able to do a lot of that and just fully show who I am and more of my personality on TikTok. So that's been really fun. I signed to a talent agency last year, which was one of my goals. Shout out to Upside Down Talent and also Whaler. Um, I've gotten to go to movie screenings and really great events and collaborate with brands that I use every day. Most of the brands that I collaborate with, I use that stuff and buy the stuff on my own all the time. And on top of that, I also started creating my platform, Alana Health. I've mentioned it a little bit here, not really in detail, but that was the po whole point of this video is to tell you guys about Alana Health and also tell you that this channel is gonna serve more as a vlogging channel. So you're gonna see behind the scenes of what it's like for me being a consultant and also behind the scenes of what it's like to be a startup founder. And I it's I feel like it's cringe to even call myself that, but that's that's what I am. Throughout all of 2023, I secretly have been working on a lot of help, working with a few software developers. I can do a story time if you guys are interested on what happened with the first. What happened? <laughs> with the second and the third software developer that I have also came with a UX UI designer and I absolutely love them. They were able to help me mobilize my MVP to the point where you guys can go to alanahealth.io right now and create an account, build a profile and start engaging in the community. I have created a lot of content specific to the industry that sits on Alana Health. So right now there are 10 videos on the platform. Three of them are a part of a series where I do a really big deep dive on Theranos and how we as industry professionals can learn from the mistakes of Theranos 
Theranos and what to look out for. I talk about AI. Hey, you know, I'm still getting used to getting back to vlogging. My camera died. Moral of the story is the content that I've been creating historically on Career Savage, I'm gonna start posting on alanahealth.io. Building a software as a service from scratch, from start, is hard. It's hard, but it was a really fun journey and there's a lot of things I've learned along the way. The purpose of the content on there is to help clinical research professionals navigate the industry a little bit better in terms of how to engage with different health authorities. I'll be talking about that. I'll be talking about clinical research taking place in the continent of Africa because there's been a lot of reports and discussion around that. And the whole purpose of the platform is for sponsors, which are the people responsible for clinical studies, to be able to engage with talent like you and me and also to be able to engage with suppliers like contract research organizations. Right Right now, I'm still building out the supplier and the sponsor side because it's a little bit more convoluted, but the professional side is ready for you. I will be posting videos on there very consistently. I will still be posting on here, and I think it'll be a lot easier for me to show up for you guys if I'm just able to kind of like freely be myself and kind of just do a little chit chat. I want to thank you guys so much for following my journey, for being subscribed to my channel, for uplifting me, for encouraging me, for speaking positivity and light onto some of y'all some people get really aggressive in the comments for no reason, but I digress. I'm also changing the channel to Kaya Abdul. My other channel was called Kaya Abdul, but I've now called it Kaya Abdul Archives. I'm really excited. And although 2024 did not start off the best for me, I am so excited for the future. This is by far, I think, the coolest thing that I've ever done in my career. <laughs>